guys, Abby here with this week's episode of Tiger Tuesday. This week's topic is decoying and defanging. These methods are used to remove the defense mechanisms of big cats used as props or as pets. Nothing can make a dangerous animal safe to be around, but it doesn't stop people from trying. Just like small domesticated house cats, big cats will scratch to sharpen their claws or to mark their territory. And when these animals are used as props, these claws can become an issue. This is when decline usually takes place. Many people assume that with decline, it's just removing the claw, but when a true decall happens, it removes the last bone of each toe. If a person was to be declawed, it would take our finger all the way down to our first knuckle, causing a lot of pain. Decline isn't over once the cat's feet heal. There are many negative effects that stem from this one procedure. Cats are digigrade, meaning that they walk and run on their toes. And because the last part of the bone is removed, these animals are forced to walk flat-footed, developing arthritis much later in life. Sometimes when all of the bone is removed and these claws are able to regrow, unfortunately, they regrow after the incision site has already healed. And these claws will come through the skin. This is the case of one of our tigers here named Izzy, who was a private pet in Oklahoma. Another common procedure done on animals in entertainment is defanging. Defanging is removing the canine teeth one of two ways, either filing them down or removing them completely, and it is done by a veterinarian or sometimes even by the private owners in their backyard. Removing these canine teeth affect the way these cats can eat and it does make it very painful. While defanging removes these very sharp teeth, it does not affect the enormous power that these cats have behind their jaws. Remember that if a facility is declawing or defanging their animals, they're most likely not a true sanctuary. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Tiger Tuesday, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more educational videos each week.